So today I'm going to be replacing this rubber bottom stop and they have actually screwed it on. So I'm going to have to remove that screw and I want to give myself a little more room. All right, so the most common way that this is done is uh, you put some vice grips on the track. I don't like the idea of doing that because all the rollers are rubbing on that all the time. So I'm going to try to use this. This might be a worse idea, but we'll see. Obviously, this doesn't need to be super tight. It just needs to be tight enough. I mean, it just needs to hold it in place. Door. All right. So you can kind of see what I got. This little plastic stopper right here. That's as far back as I want to go. I don't want to hit it. I want to press against it. I just want to get close to it. Now I should be able to get this screw out. Sliding now. So I got my table here that's going to help hold everything up and I'm going to start stuffing it now. So they say that the best way to do this is to put soap on it, just water and soap, which probably is a good idea, but I'm going to see if I can do it without doing that so it's a little less messy. Cut off a chunk. Got the two, cut off that sheath, and then I'm gonna roll that tube up and stuff it inside. What that's gonna do is it's gonna trap air inside that tube so that it uh, it expands everywhere that it needs it.
I need to increase, or I guess decrease the amount that it drops because that increased the, the thickness of the door. And I started by adjusting this one, that was the wrong one. Uh, it's actually got an arrow on it saying this is for going up. So you can see the arrow on top of the little house. So this is for going up and I started adjusting that. Fortunately I marked it before I started doing anything. So I'm going to increase that a little bit more. Just a little flathead screwdriver. And then uh, this screw, see the little arrow going down? This increases the distance going down. And so if I travel away from that, that increases the distance going, uh, that decreases the distance going down. So it'll leave more of a gap. Okay, and there's a little bit of a gap in there, so I've got it right on the edge. I'm gonna increase it a little bit from where it's at. There we go, now that's a seal. All right, still got that little gap in the middle, but that's just because of the uh, contraction points in the, in the concrete. But the only way to fix that is to actually seal it. But I'm happy with that.